friends, it's a bit late in the day but today is the 24th of July and today is Roxy's annual check day at the vet plus her review for her lumbosacral disease which I have problem saying sometimes, lumbosacral disease, there you go. Um, yes, so I have literally finished night shift this morning, um, I was on for four nights although I never made it in one night um, just due to not being well. But um, I have finished now until Friday, I'm back on days and I literally came home this morning and I took the girls round to the groomers and thought I could maybe get the top of their head cut just because it's like dead bushy um, but unfortunately I had no space today so I'm going to have to take them in tomorrow, she's got time tomorrow afternoon so they're going to get a wee trim tomorrow afternoon and after that I... What did I do after that? I came home and I done some housework. I must be crazy, but I done some housework and then I decided to bath Roxy because she had a bit of a sicky day yesterday and I think she's actually been sick again because I can see a stain down the sofa. Yes, I can see a stain down the sofa, that's lovely. I don't know what's going on with her just now. She had like one of those Himalayan yak chews um, and Jamie decided to puff it up, which you're supposed to do in the, the microwave and then you let it cool and it's like a kind of puff chew. He never fully puffed it, so it was not fully ready. Um, and then he gave her it and she obviously ate a wee bit and that just kind of sat in her stomach and didn't really... Um, dissolve so she brought it back up which in a way is a good thing I'm really glad that she brought it back up I just poked my eye but it just made her sick um, quite a few times so that was her yesterday so today I thought I would give her a bath because we're going to the vet tonight I don't want her going with a stinky face um, you know it's the last thing I want so I literally flung her in the shower at about half nine this morning flung it out, blow dried her and went to bed for two hours and then I decided to get up and make the most of the day because it's 25 degrees celsius here and we hardly ever see 25 degrees so I've just literally made the most of it all day and I've went and sat in the park. I went into Paisley, I went and got some picnic stuff, sausage rolls for my lunch, some juice and I just decided to sit out and um, enjoy the sunshine so I did get a bit of a top up on my tan, as you can see I'm looking a bit browner. I decided to give up at half past three, it was far too hot. There was no air, no breeze, no nothing, so I'm currently running the shower. I'm going to go in and grab a shower because I've been sweating all day because it's so hot. And the ladies are just chilling, they stayed in out of the sun's way today, so they are just chilling. Let me just show you them. Hello Pixie! Is you had your wee lip shaved? Yes. Where's Roxy? Hello. And how are you? Are you going to see the vet man tonight? Is he going to give you jags? And some squishy stuff up your nose? And is he going to give you more medication for your back? Is he? Well, we'll just need to wait and see. And then are we going to come back and get some dinner? Are we going to get dinner? Oh, not yet. Later. Later. We're going to get dinner. Oh, you're too close. Wait a minute. Yes, we'll have dinner later. After we come back from the vet. And then mummy's going to go for a nice bath. And a glass of wine. And then we're going to go and lie in bed because that's what I've missed when I'm on night shift. And we're going to chill out and snuggle, aren't we? We're going to snuggle because you've missed it. Yes. Look at my feet, you guys. I really need to even that out. Like, <laughs> look at my tan lines. I really need to paint my toenails. I've just not got round to it. But, oh my goodness, I really need to even that out. Yes. So I'm going to go for a shower, guys.
I thought I'll put a wee bit of mascara on and make myself look a wee bit more awake and with it but I'm probably going to end up poking my eye because I'm that tired <sighs> I cannot wait to get to my bed you guys I'm like so tired I've got another three days off right enough so I don't really know what I'm moaning about but I'm just like when you get that tired way you just want to just chill out and do nothing but you've got like so much stuff to do at the same time on your days off that you don't even get a break it's like I've got so many videos to edit I've got housework to do I've got other stuff I want to do I've got oh my goodness I'll need to wash and iron my uniforms oh I've got that to do it's just non-stop and then by the time you recover from your night shift and get all your work done you're back on to work again and it's like you feel as if you haven't even had any time off whatsoever well that's what it feels like for me anyway like I know I only work three days a week and I think some people like don't really understand how heavy going nursing can be. It's like it's exhausting mentally, physically and emotionally as well. It's you know, it's like crazy but I'm just having a good moan. <laughs> a good moan. You always have a good moan when you're tired. Well, I do anyway, I'm always moaning. <laughs> Why is my drawer not going in? Oh, I think I'm ready. Although I'm not liking my hair. I have absolutely nothing to my hair, so I'm probably just going to pin it up. As I always do. Same style, all the time. All day and every day. Oh. Oh, that's so much better like it's got a bit of bounce to it <laughs> ladies we're going to go walkies they're all tired and sleeping are we going to go walkies you're all comfy on the bed aren't you need to go and go to the toilet need to go and whittle roxy going to go to the park Mm -hmm. Okay you guys, so it's the next day. When I came home yesterday I was just absolutely knackered that I didn't even bother filming what happened at the vet. So I'm here today to tell the tale of how we got on with Roxy at her vet appointment. Now it was her annual check as well as her follow up for her lumbosacral disease on the claim form when we get the claim form in from the pet plan to, to see that the condition was covered thankfully and um, then you know it was lumbosacral disease that was put on as a reason so that's what we're going with and um, but anyway so went there um obviously the vet was aware that we had um some tramadol for a short period of time which she asked how we got on with it got on with it fine bit of a nightmare to give you know but with it being powder um, we tried absolutely everything, syringing it with water. I just literally phoned back out and, you know, it was all, all our moustache was literally covered in saliva. It was disgusting. We tried it in cheese, we tried it in chicken, we tried it in peanut butter. It was just an absolute riot. So there is tablets available, um, which I did ask about before our actual appointment um, and that we could get. But we're not on tramadol, so he fell her back and he feels improvement, which is good. He just thinks that she's got a low pain threshold um, and can't really manage pain at all. So I'm glad that her back is improving, although she's still kind of groaning every now and then, um, her back is improving because I, th I think back to the first time that he actually touched her back and she turned round and almost bit him. Um, and actually like squealed with pain um, which was horrible to see absolutely horrible to see it's not like that now there's just a kind of slight twinge and that was it so we are on the road to recovery there's just the odd groaning you know throughout the day some days when we were on the tramadol that stopped um, which was good 
pain, which tells me that it was pain that there was the groaning because to start off with I didn't know if it was like pain and if that was just her you know um, but that stopped when we were on the tramadol and then the last tramadol dose was Friday Friday morning and then over the weekend I could hear it starting to you know come back every now and then the groaning and when you pick it up and this kind of thing um, so we basically explained everything we're still doing everything as we discussed um, in the last vet appointments she has now lost a wee bit of weight which is good because she was eight kilograms um, on our last appointment and now she's back down to seven six she went from seven eight to seven six so that was really good as well and um, that she's lost a wee bit of weight now i've written down in my wee book obviously and um, what we have to do so we have to continue on the metacam for another couple of months so our next review date is in three months time but we can touch base with them if needed to beforehand if we feel that we want to maybe say right well we're doing well or we're not doing so well obviously if she's not doing so well i'll be making another appointment at the vet um, but to continue on the Medicam and because um, we've been using the other bottle for quite some time he gave me a brand new fresh bottle so I have another bottle of um, 32ml and I've just seen here this is a hmm, this is a different syringe that's in here so I'm probably just going to need to stick with the old syringes because this is actually a 60 kilogram syringe um, and it's a lot thicker and working out 7.5 on that is going to be a no-go so I can't use that syringe, I'll need to use the old ones which is fine um, but we have a fresh bottle and we then got a bottle of codeine now he was going to give us tramadol and he was happy for us to be on tramadol um, but <laughs> Dear goodness, excuse me. So he was happy for us to be on the tramadol, but he felt that we should maybe just try codeine. He said that tramadol was more of a kind of a longer release um, than what the codeine is. The codeine is just kind of like a top up, um, you know, throughout the day if needed. So, you know, it's a kind of shorter acting one, and we can give this, I think it's one between one and three mils when sore and groaning so it's only really when required so there might be a time where we don't really need to use it um, but there might be a time where we do so what he says for we were to do was to use one mil first and go with the one mil go with the lowest dose first and then obviously if we feel as if she's still groaning with the one mil then we can increase it to 1.5 mil, 2 mils, 2.5 mils to the 3 mils, but 3 mils is the maximum that she can have. Um, and it is codeine phosphate syrup, 25 milligrams over 5 ml. And I think she just gets this basically once. He was going to give her this kind of every day and he says we were, to go, we were going to give it in the morning so it's just a kind of breakthrough. Um, release for during the day but we've it's but it's now changed to as and when required so if you feel as if we're using this quite a lot that's fine and um, he's happy with that but if we feel as if we're up to the maximum of the three mils and she's still groaning then it's just going to be a case of going back and getting tramadol tablets which he's more than happy to do but given the fact that she's got a kind of weak pain threshold you know <laughs> she's going to end up on something for a very long time I think and I think she's going to end up on this for quite a while at least anyway um so let me just read my notes here yeah so that was really kind of everything to do with her back he did mention something about acupuncture and physiotherapy but I don't think we're really at that stage yet given that you know she's obviously still young it's the start of this condition it's getting managed with pain medication and we're obviously doing lifestyle changes it has reduced so much that i feel as if acupuncture and 
physiotherapy aren't really needed at the moment. I feel as if that might be needed later on down the line, you know, maybe when she's older and the, con the condition kind of progresses. Um, it is a possibility that we might need to use that, but it's good to know that that is there um, for her to, to basically have. And as well, I think that would be covered in the insurance as well, um, which is good. But we don't really need that just now, Roxy, do we? No, she's lying in a huff again because mummy took you to the groomers round the corner just about 10 minutes ago and got your heads trimmed because they were growing like wildfire and you couldn't see could you Roxy no you couldn't even see mm-hmm okay so this is a codeine bottle here so it's basically 48 I think there's 48 doses in there no idea but um yeah, so we've got this liquid and it's a kind of sugary liquid, um, which is good. Um, she'll probably love it because she just loves. Now, I hope this tastes better than what the tramadol does because the, tra the tramadol was a nightmare to give. So he let me smell the bottle and the bottle smells exactly like the codeine that I give out in work. Um, it's a kind of sugary, sweet, syrupy kind of smell, so I'm sure she would um, have it no bother. And we also got two syringes. So we've got two 5ml syringes, which is good. I'll just keep them. But because it's only really like one mil just now, if we were to give it, then I'll just use the other one mil syringe. Or I could just use... Oh, do you know what? I could just use this. I could just use this. I'll just use them. That's fine. Keep it separate. Okay, so with that, she also got her kennel cough and she also got her vaccinations. Everything else is absolutely fine with her. Weight is good, eyes, checked the eyes, checked in the ears and the mouth, all that kind of stuff. He checked, um, which is good. Although it was funny because when she got the kennel cough, she kind of obviously acted up and was a bit of a drama queen she is a drama queen but she was a real drama queen and we didn't know if the kennel cough had went in her nostril the vet said did that go in and i'm like i really don't know because i'm so busy trying to hold her and he's trying to hold her and we're all trying to hold her so she sits at peace but i didn't even know if it went in but then it started to kind of she kind of like sniffed out a wee bit and it, obviously you can see that it did go up the nose and um, there was a wee dribble just left in the syringe so he managed to get that up <laughs> back up the nose um, but it was funny because she just looked at him when she was finished and he just looked at her for like a couple of seconds and she let out the biggest huff ever it was like she just knew and I says to the vet, I says, listen, see when I gave her her tramadol and I fought with her to give her her tramadol, she went in a huff with me and she wouldn't even look at me. She was completely disgusted. It's so funny. I often wonder what goes through their head. They're just, they must just be like, don't you dare even speak to me right now until I calm down. <laughs> But yes, so all is well with Roxy. We're heading in the right direction again. We did have a wee kind of a blip last week, which I did upload, which was our last video. Um, I think because she was doing more than what she had been doing in the last couple of months because me and Jamie were both off and we were going out all the time, which we don't usually do. So she was working a wee bit more. Um, she was going out a wee bit more so now that me and Jamie are both back at work things are going to settle back down to normal she's still going out to the park she's still getting walks but she's not going in the car she's not going here she's not getting lifted out here and out there I mean she's not going like kind of you know a way out for the day type thing so it's just short walks out in the park and that's us back to normal so hopefully um, things will improve better with that as well but that is us and that is our update so another checkup in three months time um, or before if needed our bloods were fine when she got them done in june so they don't need to be redone just now i think if she carries on in the medicam within the three months and then 
after the three months when she's still on the Metacam and if she's still carry on the Metacam then she'll get her bloods done in like three months time because um, obviously it can cause problems with the organs and all that kind of stuff. Um, and he did say as well if we feel she's improving then he is happy for us to maybe reduce the Metacam down to like a five kilogram dose and because we are currently giving 7.5 so he's happy for us to reduce it down to five for a while so maybe in like a, a month or two months or something if we feel that she's you know feeling better and she's not as groany you know that kind of thing then we can reduce it down ourselves and we can even touch base with them and say listen she's doing better we've reduced it down to five that kind of thing so we'll just need to wait and see how things go won't be roxy you got your head all cut didn't you so you can see Mm -hmm. and they sprayed her with this perfume stuff which smells so good doesn't it Roxy it smells so good mm -hmm. so you can see now are you on the mend yes she's on the mend mm -hmm. <laughs> okay you guys so that was just a bit of a quick update for you just to let you know how she's getting on um, and you know it's something that I said that I was going to follow up on here was do a kind of um, you know follow up videos and let you guys know how she's doing now that she's got a condition and that will continue so every video that I post there'll probably will be other videos in the future although we've got like a three month gap now of our next appointment I will be updating throughout those three months um, you know as well so just so you guys can see how she's getting on but as well you can see us on social media to find out how she's getting on as well i use instagram daily the link for instagram is down below link for all our social media websites is down below so feel free to go down and click on them and follow us it'd be much appreciated um, and you can see how the updates are going with her but that is us for just now. So thank you very much, you guys, for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please subscribe to our channel as well. You can hit the bell button down below to receive notifications for when we post a video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.